is going on? Where's our air support? Get those forward guns going. Why aren't those rear batteries firing? Somebody get General Wilson on the horn! Colonel Fury. Doom. I'll have your head for this. I have little time for your petty threats, Colonel. Surrender your ship now, or I shall destroy it. Not on my watch. This is a priority alert to all metahumans. UNN Alpha requests immediate assistance. Thor, take care of those gunships. Spider-Man, draw them towards the stern. Sure thing. I just love being a target. Wolverine, you do it, Boy Scout. I don't take orders from you. Staten Island. scares me. Is he always late? Hello, team. Welcome to Stark Tower, my pride and joy. It's 40 stories of heaven on Earth. Huh. It's amazing what you can do with just a few billion dollars. We are now a team? Yes. I've been empowered by S.H.I.E.L.D. to create a task force to stop the Masters of Evil. But the helicarrier was so badly damaged that it can't be used as a headquarters. Fortunately, Tony is willing to let us stay here for the duration. It has all the facilities we'll require. Believe me, it's no problem at all. And I called in a few old friends to help us out. Feel free to walk around and meet them. I'd suggest you meet Hank Pym first, since he's in charge of equipment. The Vision is here as our information officer. Great. We got a computer to talk to the computers for us. When you're ready to go on a mission, talk to Wyatt Wingfoot. He'll take you there in one of my Quinjets. Speaking of that, what is our next mission, Colonel? I recently received a radio transmission from Dum Dum Dugan requesting that I come to the Omega base. But there was something questionable in his message. You think it might be a trap? Maybe. I can't be sure. For more information, talk to the Black Widow. We're close to the landing zone, so I'll be brief. Dum Dum Dugan recently sent a suspicious radio message requesting I meet him at the Omega base for a report on the latest Super Soldier Serum. What's so suspicious about that? Dr. Banner was to give the report. The only thing is, Banner has been working on the Gamma Bomb project, not the Super Soldier Serum. Dugan would never make a mistake like that. Something's up. What is the Omega base? It's a mobile lab that's over five stories tall. We use it for field testing experiments. Oh, S.H.I.E.L.D.'s the greatest. Flying aircraft carriers, office buildings on wheels. Oh, please tell me you've got a tunnel that runs from New York to Tokyo. Spider-Man, this is serious. Colonel, is there anything on board the Omega that would be considered dangerous? If the contents of that vehicle were to fall into the wrong hands, it would be disastrous for all mankind. Exactly what are you developing that could threaten the entire planet? That's classified. So it's all right for us to save the vehicle. We just can't know what's going on there. Correct. Now, if I may continue, the team's mission will be to sneak on board the Omega and locate Dugan. 
He should be able to bring you up to speed on the situation. Any questions? All right, good luck. Listen up, people. We've been sent here to investigate a situation in Atlantis. What kind of situation are we talking about here, Cap? An hour ago, Namorita sent a message saying a riot's taking place. A crowd broke into the throne room of Atlantis and dragged Namor off his throne. Why would the Atlanteans riot? They love Namor. I don't know. Namorita had to stop transmitting before she could give any details. How are we to handle a mission in the undersea conditions of Atlantis? There's nanotechnology at this outpost that will let us breathe and move normally through the water. I want to remind you, the Atlanteans aren't exactly big fans of us surface dwellers. What if they become violent? Defend yourselves. We have to help Namor any way we can. He's a valuable ally. That's it. Let's be careful out there. Loki, are you certain your ploy in Atlantis worked? My good doctor, how could you doubt the god of mischief? My performance as Mandarin was flawless. Rest assured, the heroes will travel to the Valley of Spirits. I wonder who will be the worst for this confrontation. The heroes or Mandarin? It matters not, so long as one of them pays the ultimate price. The traitorous Mandarin will most likely meet his demise. But not without destroying several of Fury's lackeys first. Indeed. I would find it most enjoyable if my dear brother Thor were to fall in battle. Long as he been a thorn in my side. Oh, don't look so sad, Enchantress. When our ultimate plan is realized, you will find others more worthy of your attention than Thor. I should hope so, Loki. Still, it saddens me that Thor must die. He is truly a god to be admired. That pompous fool's overdeveloped physique is nothing compared to my conniving intellect. Oh, I have longed to crush his self-righteous countenance beneath my booted heel. Silence! All of you. My scanners show the heroes are in the Valley of Spirits. We have set the stage. And the players have arrived. Now, let us watch and see who will survive this tale of deception. He's awake! Seal the castle! Now! Baron Mordo, I trust all is in order. Our guests will be arriving soon, and I would hate to be ill-prepared. You can rest assured. I have taken all the necessary steps. Ha! <laughs> An infant could have cast better spells. The heroes have detected your magic and suspect something is afoot. They cannot possibly know the true meaning of the enchantments. I'd stake my life on it. Be careful what you wager. Loki, leave the good Baron alone. What does it matter if the heroes suspect? They will still be ensnared by the trap. For his sake, they'd best be. I'm taking a grave risk being associated with the masters of evil. Make no mistake, my friend. We all stand to lose much if we fail. Which is why I'm certain Baron Mordo will achieve success. But I would warn you, Baron. My faith only goes so far. Failure will not be tolerated, and the penalty will be most unpleasant. What, what of the, the mutant, mutant amplifier we stole from the Omega, Omega base? 
Does it work? Yes. Even better than I dare hope. But time is now a factor in our plans. Why is that? The mutant amplifier is quite destructive. If we do not move swiftly, the X-Man we kidnapped will die. Ooh, you surprise me, Dr. Doom. Why do you care for the health of the mutant? I don't. An early death would hinder our plans. But make no mistake, death for the X-Man is inevitable. Team, this next mission takes you to Mephisto's realm. It's an alternate dimension that's filled with fire and brimstone. Gah! Why can't we ever be sent to an alternate dimension filled with lonely supermodels? Because we're going to save Nightcrawler. You got a problem with that? Nope. Sorry. I'll just be quiet now. Best news I heard all day. Why is Nightcrawler in Mephisto's realm? Dr. Doom somehow forced him to teleport a group of them to that dimension. How is that possible? Nightcrawler's abilities were never that strong. They used a device known as a mutant amplifier. It magnified his powers far beyond the norm. What's this amplifier doing to Kurt? We estimate it's overdriven his powers to the point that it's causing physical damage. You have to move fast, or it'll kill him. Do you know why the Masters of Evil are going to this dimension? No. Any knowledge you gain would be helpful. So far, we've been completely in the dark as to what Doom is up to. But Kurt comes first. We ain't risking his life. You got it, bub. I understand, Wolverine. Nightcrawler's safety is the number one priority. So get moving. Ho, brave warriors of Asgard! I've come to pay my respects to Odin! Loki. And of course, I brought presents. <laughs> Behold, my tribute to the All-Father. The day of reckoning has arrived! Long have I been denied my rightful place. But now, I have the power to take it! Throne will be mine. <laughs> My friends, these are indeed dark times. The masters of evil have overwhelmed the army of Asgard, and the only path for reinforcements has been closed off to us the Bifrost Bridge. Isn't that how your people travel back and forth between Earth and Asgard? Aye. A great many warriors would return, if only the path were open. How did Doom manage to block off Bifrost? The gate at the end closest to Earth has been closed and barred. It can only be opened from our side. But I would warn you, the Wrecking Crew is guarding the gate. The Wrecking Crew? <laughs> Ooh, pardon me for not being scared. I gotta agree with Webhead here. How bad can these jokers be? The Wrecking Crew is not to be taken lightly. They are humans who were mistakenly granted the powers of one of my people. More than once, they have sorely tested my powers. They almost beat you? Then we'd better be on our guard. They are formidable opponents, but that is not all. Loki has struck a bargain with Hela, the goddess of death. Her minions will also seek to stop us. So we're fighting gods and the undead. Right. Anyone else nervous about our odds here? We must succeed. Without those additional forces, there is little hope for Asgard. Not to worry, Thor. We'll get those gates open. I thank you, my friends. Let us battle on to victory! Ha-ha! 
It was more wondrous than my wildest of dreams. How I wish I could forever relive the fall of Asgard. It was so amusing to watch the oafish knaves as they fought in defense of their beloved city. But one by one, they realized that all was lost. Heimdall, Tyr, and even the mighty Balder have tasted the bitter dregs of defeat. Now I, Loki, am the true lord and master of Asgard. And all those who have dared to mock me are in chains, beaten, and hopeless. Need I remind you, Loki, that your brother Thor still remains free? Your fascination with the God of Thunder grows tiresome, Enchantress. But has he not proven himself your better time and time again? Careful. That beauteous face will gain you only so much of my mercy. But she does bring a valid point to light. Thor will likely attempt to liberate the fallen warriors. Think you that I would not be prepared? Traps are plenty wait for those who would dare to free my prisoners. Traps that even they cannot overcome? You underestimate me, Doom. After all, am I not the god of mischief? My brother and his friends will most assuredly enter Asgard. But trust me when I say they will never leave. The final phase of our plan is about to commence. The attack on the Omega base, the kidnapping of the X-Men, and our dealings with Mephisto have all led up to this moment. I would remind you that failure is not an option. You worry too much, my good doctor. We are more than prepared to achieve our ultimate goal. And you worry too little. How often have we all had victory firmly in our grasp, only to have it snatched away by the heroes? You do realize, Baron Mordo, that the price of failure will be the wrath of Odin. Are you prepared for that? No. No, I don't suppose I am. None of us are. It would be a fate worse than death. And that is why we must be absolutely certain we are willing to do what must be done for success. Fear not, Dr. Doom. I am prepared for whatever challenges we meet. As am I. Just knowing the rewards that await makes it all worthwhile. Of that, you have no fear, Ultron. Everyone will get what's coming to them. Am I dead? Why does heaven smell like a wet dog? Oh wait, never mind. I am Uwatu, the Watcher. I prevented your deaths, for you are needed to save this universe. Listen closely, mortals. Doctor Doom's unrestrained use of Odin's power will soon tear the fabric of reality beyond repair. I have broken my sacred vow to only observe so that I may give you this one chance to save your world. Who can stand against the power of Odin? Even the gods of mighty Asgard have fallen. Doom's power seems unlimited, but you must know a way to stop him. Yes, there is a chance, but it will be difficult. First, you must obtain the Makran Crystal, a Shi'ar gem of fantastic power. Next, you must acquire another object of great power, and it will take all your strength and skill. You must face the World Eater known as Galactus. You'll be traveling to the Shi'ar Empire for this next mission. It's located in a galaxy in another part of the universe. Once there, you'll need to lay hands on a shard of the Makran Crystal. Will the Shi'ar be willing to part with it? The crystal is very important to the Shi'ar, but we're good friends with their ruler, Lilandra. I don't think she'll mind giving it to us, especially when she learns how important it is in stopping Doctor Doom. You X-Men are pretty well connected. 
You've even got buddies in other galaxies. Xavier's the one who's close to Lilandra. They used to be good friends. Really good friends, if you catch my meaning. Ooh, guess that means Lalandra's not gonna be some wrinkled old prune of a queen. You can say that again, bub. What is the Shi'ar Empire? It's an ancient kingdom that spans entire galaxies and consists of thousands of different civilizations. Are they peaceful? They have had their periods of upheaval, usually due to struggles within the royal family. But for the most part, yes. What exactly is this Macran crystal? It houses a gateway into a universe filled with neutron stars. The power available there is beyond measure. I can see how that would be useful in defeating Doctor Doom. All right then. Get to Shi'ar and locate Lalandra as fast as you can. Once you've convinced her to give you the crystal, get back here pronto. Good luck. You're about to be sent to the homeworld of the Skrull. There you need to steal a device called the Muonic Inducer from Galactus, who is presently attacking the Skrull planet. Why is Galactus at war with the Skrull? He's not. Galactus is there to consume the planet. Whoa! This dude eats planets? I gotta get a picture of that. He doesn't really eat them. He has machines that convert the planet into energy he can absorb. One of those devices is the Muonic Inducer. I wouldn't think old Galactus is gonna be too happy with us trying to steal one of his toys. No, he won't be. Which is why I'd strongly advise against any confrontation with him. Galactus is one of the most powerful beings we've ever encountered. That would explain why he feeds off entire planets. But how does he choose which worlds to consume? He has a herald for that. A scout who determines which planet's next on the menu. Well, at least we can count on the Skrull to help us out. Not necessarily. The Skrull are a warlike people who've attacked the Earth several times before. They'll most likely see you as enemies. Wonderful. So if Mr. Universe doesn't completely crush us, the Skrull will be happy to finish the job. Yes. Is that a problem? No. Just wanted to make sure what the teams are. Well, good. Now get moving. Much has transpired since you were last on Earth. Mankind did its best to defend itself against doom. But even their greatest weapons were as nothing before Doom's power. The heroes of your world also tried to stop Doom and paid the ultimate price. We're going to be arriving at Doom's castle soon. Once there, you'll have to locate Doom and use the McCran crystal to steal his power. You can bet your boots Doom ain't gonna let that go without a scrap. Uh, make no mistake, you're in for the fight of your lives. But it has to be done. As predicted, tears are developing in near-Earth space because of Doom's unbridled use of power. Pretty soon even Doom won't be able to stop it. What will happen if the tears are left unchecked? The universe will unravel in a matter of months. All life will cease to exist everywhere. Gone forever. Wow, not to criticize, but this mission briefing is turning into a real downer. I don't know any other way to put it. Trillions of lives are depending on you to defeat Doctor Doom. Look, 
I know we've had our differences over the course of this little adventure, and I know you don't agree with the way I've done some things. But as the director of S.H.I.E.L.D., I can't ever afford to lose. And now you're in the same boat. You have to win this one. Not to worry, Colonel. I am prepared. Wolverine and I are certainly ready for anything. You got that right. Yeah. I've always wanted to fight someone with the powers of a god. Don't worry, Colonel. We know what's riding on this. We won't fail. I know you won't. Good luck. And watch yourselves. Fools. You've accomplished nothing. Doom. Hogan. You can't be free. Your wretched scheme is undone. And your black soul is mine. No! An eternity of suffering is the fate of those who challenge the gods. You gotta thank your old man for me, Thor. Odin did one hell of a job reversing the damage Doom did to Earth. Aye, but I believe he is presently occupied with Doom and my brother Loki. Let's hope he's teaching them new kinds of pain. The world owes you a debt of gratitude it can never repay. But... With the danger past, our task force must be disbanded. You're a punk, Fury. Listen, fellas. I don't care if you like me, but if a threat like this comes again, can S.H.I.E.L.D. count on your help? The world can count on us, sir. I will destroy their planet. <laughs> 